previously. I'm Triff Gaming! Gadgets. I'm broken this deck. Every single turn does this combo. It's honestly incredible. 15,000 subscribers. Every single turn does this combo. Me versus Farfa. Gadget Pendulums versus Draco Pals. What is it? 2015? Let's go. You're going to see me versus Farfa right now in a best of three match. If you want to support your boy, subscribe right now, guys. We're 100 subscribers away from 15,000. Subscribe ASAP, boys. And another note, at tomorrow, the day after, I released it. I made a new Pendulum FTK with gadgets. It's absolutely nuts. I'll be posting it tomorrow, the day after. Stay tuned for that. Gadgets are nuts and pendulums, and you're going to see why. Enjoy this video. Me versus Farfa. Best of three matches. Draco Pals versus Gadget Pendulums. Let's go. This is going to blow your mind, guys. This is incredible. We're doing a whole, not just one match, but three matches. Best first to two matches. Best of three in matches. Not just a best of three game. So it, it's incredible here. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm, my opening is pretty good there. We're playing Gadget Pendulums. If you guys saw my other video, I broke Gadget Pendulums. They're so good. And Farfa, Farfa's my boy, man. I have a lot of respect for Farfa. I do think he's one of the greatest YouTubers in the world right now. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers. Well, yeah, I know he's a blogger. Not blogger. He's a Twitcher, a streamer, whatever the hell that shit is. But I see here, uh, it's the same combo I showed you guys in my other video. It's You're you're really just utilizing Saryuja, your normal summon, your pen summon. To really take advantage of the gadgets and bring out Naturia Exterior, which is incredible. And he's playing Draco Pals here, like old school Draco Pals. We're obviously not playing the best version of Pendulums, each of us, but gadget pendulums are so fun, man. They're so fun. You get so much pluses here. Anytime you can resolve Cyber Stein, it's pretty sick. Which, hint, hint, uh, Cyber Stein's involved in my FDK. I got a crazy Pendulum FDK. It's so consistent. Like literally 100 test hands in a row is FDK. It's a new FDK with Cyber Stein. Where you search Cyber Sign with Gear Gigan uh, with the gadget, it's so damn powerful, man. It's so powerful. And if they hand trap you, you just put a multiple in the gates. There's guard dragons in the in the FTK. Like it's so 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 good. Like I am so happy I created it. Like, it is so good. I right, see so over here though. We're not doing no FTK. We're pretty much an FTK though. Burrow Savage, Infinite Negate Exterior, and Double Fog Blade. That's a joke. He's activating his spells for fun. He already knows that he can't activate any. I let Ariadne go because he'll be able to uh, get a counter trap and. Uh, yeah, just to get every scale into Oblivion, and we're going to go on to game two. There's a lot of games here. There's a lot of games. Like, we're playing best of three matches. So, we're going to fast forward all these, go as fast as possible. He's going first now. I see your hand. Like, it looks like you got your br you brick because you got lots of gadgets, right? Where Well, gadgets don't brick. Gadgets, uh, they're okay. Like, you have 11 discard outlets in case you draw two or three gadgets. And drawing multiple gadgets is fine. Pen summoning two gadgets, you get two free plus ones off of it. Like, you get to resolve all your nightmares. They're just so good. Like, they're actually just so good. I love gadgets. They're such a fun way to play Pendulum. There's so much free plusing. And who doesn't love plusing? Like, the best hands are where you open turbo cards and gadgets. Because gadgets revive the cards you're wasting. And the turbo cards give you Electrum. So, it's incredible. And with Mike's in there, too. Like, we do know he's playing he's played Draco Pals. So, in this hand, you got to play smart. Especially against Counter Trap decks. Playing, I know he has multiple counter traps. He's playing Draco Pals. There's what other traps are there? Uh, especially when he didn't pen summon his turn. So we play smart like that. So if we're facing an Alter Guys deck, you don't have to go straight to pen five. So our thing got striked. It's okay. So here we're gonna we want to go into Tornado, but against Farfa, it's a fun duel. So I go Cowboy for jokes. Uh, yo, I got this match. Uh, there's no way he could come back from this with my hand being multiple gadgets that'll revive every turn. Got revives. There's no way I'm losing. So I'm gonna get a uh, cowboy in for game for the lulls. Let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen. That I I'm firm. I want to cowboy him for game. That's my goal. That's my goal. So I will got 800. Uh, I need to do 100 more in my turn, and I got it. He goes and taking this turn. Unfortunate. He's gonna pop. Uh, get rid of both my scales and attack my cowboy. The cowboy dream is gone. Unfortunate. But he is a 900, so all I have to do is 900 damage, and we just need any monster, and we got it. And what do we do? We got Cerberus, easy. So what we do here is we're literally just going to underclock Ignister and then attack uh, you know, Seuss very soon. Really just putting as many monsters on board as possible. At this point, if I was playing a competitive version of this deck, this isn't my competitive gadget version, just a fun gadget version I made, because uh, it's against Farfall for fun. Otherwise, with Ignister Strudel, they would have been easier, even easier. But just a cool little way here. We're just going to underclock Taker. 
Gadgets are so nice that they keep adding cards in hand. Like if I didn't have those, if I didn't have the gadgets, wouldn't have been in hand to start with. If I didn't summon any on my first turn, uh, that gives you a great follow up. Match number one goes to Pengon. Steven Drake, Trevor Lasky, one oh baby. We're now going to the next one. I want the die roll. Uh, I got lucky with die rolls in this. Uh, Dracopoth do need to go first to be relevant because they're gonna have infinite counter drops. And uh, we just keep going here. We open subpar, but it's okay. We're gonna keep playing and. Even subpar openings are still lead to good openings. Uh, we summon up uh, our combo as normal, even though it's subpar open. We still got our combo off. Like, gadgets are amazing to open. I hate when I don't open gadgets. That's when they break. Like, normal pendulums, if you guys don't notice, normal pendulum is a brick. If you don't open anything, like, just three negates is not enough. Three negates is nothing. I'll OTK to three negates any time, any day. So here, as you see how consistent the Gear Geek and combo is. And at this point, if I played Guard Dragons... Uh, and uh, you're going to see, man, my, my FTK is amazing. It honestly blows my mind how consistent my FTK is. I'll probably be releasing it tomorrow or the day after. And a whole other note, a lot of new far, uh, content with Farfa is coming. We're partnering in a few stuff. It's pretty awesome. I got another video featuring Farfa. It's Farfa's stream where I just hop on and I'm featured in it. Uh, together, We, me and him duel someone and raid it. And he just scooped there. My hand was too good, obviously. Uh, or my board was too good. But yeah, like, stay tuned. Like, some of this content is really, really good, honestly. We even break mermails together. And you guys are going to see. I'll make a video on that in the future. But he, he opens Ariane and Sork. Uh, so I, I know instantly that this is not good for me. This is definitely not good for me. He got Gilding Ariane and he got Sork. Not good for me at all. He's going to have infinite counter traps. And, uh, hey, it's all good. It's all good. This is part of the game. You have to go second with Pendulums. I know we're not playing, like, my best version of Pendulums. Like, with this hand, if I had Destrudo in my in my deck, I'd be able to clear it so much easier. But again, we're playing a more more so of a fun build here. And Baguska, oh, that really hurts us. Baguska destroys gadgets. Baguska says you can't play with your gadgets. And Dark Worm can't resolve, etc., etc. Do play Destrudo, guys. Destrudo is amazing. You're going to see my turn afterwards, uh, after this turn, why Destrudo is so good. One thing to know here, like I said, when you're playing against counter trap decks or Baguski or something like that, Floodgates, you don't have to clear your board, clear their board or, or lose that turn. They're going to be playing a more slowed down version. Even though he is playing Pendulums, he literally set three traps. Like, it's not, this isn't real Pendulums we're talking about here. This is like a different version. So, he wants to get rid of the Fog Blade because he has base off in hand. And, uh, that, we don't have to play too much. Like I said, he's going to eventually get rid of his Baguska. We're going to attempt uh, after he... Yes, yeah, so we just take damage. Like You don't got to get rid of everything. So after he uh, got rid of our card with Ignister, we attempt to use Chronograph and he strikes. So like now, this is where the Destrudo really would have helped out a lot instead of the Dark Worm, but it's okay. So we go little by little. We're just going to normal summon here. And like I said, gadgets, gadgets are even are very nice. Uh, like if we, if we had scales there instead of gadgets, we'd pen summon and get strike. Like gadgets are nice in a grind game. They're really, really good. Uh, so our cow, we're gonna, we go to the Cowboy again for Jones Guard Mcnister, but he strikes the effect, and uh, we're on to game three now. So we open our hand, uh, definitely subpar, not a good hand, but it's totally fine. You see what I mean? Like you want gadgets in your hand? If we had a gadget in this hand, we had the entire combo. Like, if we had gadgets in this hand, there's a five negates, but there's no gadget. So uh, it's a subpar hand, but it's still going to end up four negates, uh, even, with, even with a subpar hand. Like, it's totally fine. Uh, just the like, gadgets are so damn good. Like, if we had a gadget there or Orcas in our deck, this was like five, six negates, let alone just a three or four. And it just, like, Evil Storm Nightmare and Double Fog Blade. So it's not like the best negates or, or whatever I ended up here. So, yeah, Savage, Jackal, Double Fog Blade. But the Jackal has no counters. Uh, the Orcas combo would have gave it counters, which, as you're going to see, if I had counters on Jackal, it would have been wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, so he summoned Dino Wrestler, which destroys uh, Fog Blades. So I, activate, I have to activate Fog Blade there. And Savage Dragon. If Jack Cloud counters, I would negate the Wrestler. And the uh, Savage Dragon would negate the Desires. So Orcas are amazing, man. Orcas, like, I, see there, we didn't draw Gadget. Unfortunate. He kind of the, the Jackal. And uh, we we're about to get cocked. Now, I Fog Blade the Electrum. Just because if I don't Fog Blade the Electrum, he could uh, go into plus infinite amounts of Electrum. I know what Electrum does. And Phoenix the Fog Blade. And then Ignister. The problem with Draco Pals is Ignister, because they don't just get rid of two cards, especially in a mirror match. Uh, they don't just get rid of two cards I control. They also get a free monster on board with some shenanigans with. And I had to fog blade the Electrum, because it would have been the exact same result if I didn't, except we would have summoned a fifth monster and have a free card in hand. And if you did that, 
And it's unfortunate, or extremely unfortunate for me. Because he was going to Phoenix away with the extra card he drew from Electro. And he would have had a free Phoenix on board. And like it would end on the same result, but even worse. If I did a Fog Blade Nister instead of the Electro. Uh, he ends up on that. So I'm like, okay. The Gadget in this situation, Gadget did suck to draw. But at the same time, was it? Did it suck? Because if I drew a, a, a Pendulum, for example, he would simply Tornado and I would pass my turn. This way, I at least have... It was actually good that I drew a gadget. It was way better, actually. So this actually gave me a chance. Drawing the gadget let me discard the thing. Now if he doesn't draw a scale or a monster, I was pretty good. But Ignister summons another card back. And there's really nothing I can do at this point. Uh, he does summon uh, with Paladin. He, he does, it's a little laggy here. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, he, he does with uh, Paladin. I think he summoned a card to the uh, monster zone. So the extra monster zone. But uh, it's totally fine. He caught it right away. It's just uh, my bad. But... There was I wasn't coming back anyways because what did I draw draw there a black fang which does nothing for me so match two goes to Farfa we're now going on to match three what do you know I win the die roll again like in a pen mirror match the guards are gonna be with me so obviously I'm gonna win every die roll in a pen mirror match like come on bro it's it just happens they don't call me pen god for no reason it just happens so now for this one we're gonna you guys are gonna enjoy this one this one is. Match three is a dandy. It's a great match. And something that I, uh, I've i always wanted to happen, happens. Uh, this is my hand. I cut off quickly there. This is match three. Uh, I was lagging a little bit. I don't know why. I do blame Dueling Book for it. But it's all good. Dueling Book, are you kidding me? Anyways, you're going to see right now. Uh, Electra is going to do his work. We do draw good for sure. And uh, we didn't draw amazing, but we drew good. Uh, we're gonna go through our entire combo. No gadgets. This is why it sucks. Like, our hand would have been so broken with a gadget. Exterior's infinite negates, so what you guys aren't understanding. Uh, Cyberstein's remarkable. That's uh, so why gadgets, like, there's so many, so much amazing pendulum, FTK shenanigans, and potential with my deck in the FTK version, which you guys are gonna see, as I said, like, when I post it. It's amazing. Like, it really is. Subscribe for that, guys. Like, tomorrow's gonna be insane. I'm gonna post it tomorrow, probably. Maybe it'll be Triff Miss. Let me know in the comments if you want to see Triff Miss. If you get like 10 comments that say Triff Miss, uh, I'm posting it now. If I did post at the beginning, everyone will want it. Triff Miss is a lot of work for Triff. But if we get enough comments for Triff Miss, I want to post it now for the real ones that are still watching. I'll post it on the same day I'm posting this. The Pendulum FTK is amazing. So we know he has infinite counter traps. So little by little, we just want to get rid of some stuff. Oh, he has infinite counter traps. And on top of that, uh, we fog, Exiton's fog bladed, so we don't want to neg too much. Uh, it's all good. So he passed because fog blade is on Exiton, so we can't pop it. A lot of you guys are wondering how I do it sometimes. The gadgets are so nice. Look at that. Uh, three pluses. Uh, and now we're gonna simply go into uh, I think tornado dragon and call it a day. And if he attempts to uh, pop my field on my battle phase, vortex on the gate, and I'll win anyways. Now we're going to game two, where this ending's amazing. Don't miss the ending of this. We draw this time. We're like, yo, before we didn't side against him, but I'm like, you know what? After he, his side cucked us, we're like, let's pay some respect to Farfa. We're gonna side. Normally, we don't side, but gotta pay respect to Draco Palace, one of my all time favorite decks. Uh, maybe I'll do my own little Draco Palace. I have a broken Draco Palace list with Doriato. It's amazing. So, all I see is counter traps. I instantly know this isn't good, but we do have a reboot. But we're gonna see how, how, what, what ends up happening here. If it just counter traps and no Baguska, we're totally fine. But we know the Baguska is coming down. Which Baguska, as much as it seems like it doesn't hurt pens. Oh, it hurts pens, man. You got to do such a weird play. And we did give him a warning because we knew he was going to reboot. So warning was going to... Warning was going to... Denko was going to get warning. So we didn't know we had Denko. We drew as a six card. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to reboot instead. The plan now is simple. This is going to be a very grinded out game. We know he's going to have three counter traps. But the goal here is to... Uh, Get as much as plus as possible. And again, if we had a gadget here, uh, after we got rid of the Baguska, the gadgets would lead to so much plus. It's crazy. And it's never ending plus. So like one gadget, it gives you a plus two every single turn. Because you know what's summon a gadget every turn. You pendulum summon a gadget every turn. And you get back the same engine that started. So you're getting a free rank four every single turn. Like that's crazy. And it recycles itself. Because the following turn, you're going to get another one. Uh... Now over here, we think a lot because it's a tough board, tough situation than what it seems because we want to ideally get rid of his field. Like we want to ideally get rid of both the scales and his board and call it a day. 
we're going to do instead here something different. <laughs> we're going to take Borlo, go into Electrum, bring Baguska's defense down, destroy that, go into Tornado Dragon and pop a back row. We should have done his pop Judgment, and then that's what we should have done. But instead, we're going to keep Borlo, we're going to go double Fog Blade. But I think with Tornado Dragon, we should have popped the Judgment to make sure our Fog Blades will resolve guaranteed. Like we could have done it, but it's okay. We're going to now set three cards, one of which is a pen call for next turn or we'll do this alliance. And go where the wind blows. Uh, we're gonna see, he can't do much here because we got double fog blade. So he's gonna summon two monsters. Any X Y Z he goes is gonna get fog bladed. So he doesn't waste his X Y Z. He puts multiple uh, monsters on board. We got uh, dual lines pen call, pen call. We hope he negates it with judgment. He does it. We get two cards now. So dragon pick and now discard something. We're gonna slowly one by one pick his back row, and then next turn we're gonna OTK. So the plan is to one by one pop a few stuff. We're going to pop that. We should have popped the Judgment. We should have 1,000% popped the Judgment uh, so our Fog Blades could resolve as an interruption on his turn, but we didn't do that. Next, we're going to clear as much as he can. We're going to first attack the Dino, Dino, uh, the Dino, guy, the Dino guy with uh, Borload because uh, he would protect his monsters, I think. And one by one, we attack everything. Next, we're going to Tornado Dragon, which I think was going to get Judgmented, but he warning. He has three counter traps there. Sucks. Uh, and at this point, we're like, okay, he has one judgment. I instantly regret not hitting the judgment with my, uh, thing earlier. And now he Exitons us because we're forced to fog blade the Sork. Exiton, goodbye, friends. Unfortunate for us. So what we do here in an amazing game, game two over here in match number three, we're like, you know what? We see a great opportunity here. He has a dead set card he can't use, a counter trap he can't use. He has a Exiton Knight. And a cowboy. We hit it for 800. If he draws a card here, maybe he could clear our board. But our dream might come true here. If he doesn't clear cowboy on his turn, which he can't right now with the situation he has, we win. With cowboy. We're actually going to cowboy him for game if he doesn't draw out. So let's go. We had a game here, very simply. If we literally went into any other XYZ in our entire extra deck and uh, went into... Uh, rusty after we literally won just like that but we're like we don't want to win like that we want to win the cool way we could even cowboy effect to just attack exiton and that would be game just like that but we want to win by his defense effect uh, boo he sets a card can't get rid of it cowboy for game we remain victorious in what was the most glorious victory on the pen god channel ever cowboy using its effect for 800 you have yeed your last ha farfa that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well as Farpa's in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be an insane uh, gadget FTK deck. It's so, so, so good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Peace.